name is Sheila Gray, and I am a parishioner here at St. Pius X. Uh, so glad to see so many faces here for the third week of our Lenten series. It's just great that you're taking the time to hear God speaking to us through members of our St. Pius X parish. And today, the journey of a lifetime continues with If You Knew the Gift. We're about to get inspired with talks from the venerable Tom Kissel and the youthful and aspiring Nate Doggett as they focus on the central mystery of our faith, the source and summit of our Christian life, the Eucharist. This is Nate Doggett. He's an 18-year-old senior at Holy Cross High School where his Religion Four teacher is St. Pius' former pastor, Father Tom Robbins. He has attended Catholic schools his whole life and was a governor's scholar last summer. Nate plays soccer, tennis, intramural basketball, and takes part in the academic team and in student government. He intends to study chemical engineering at the University of Kentucky or the University of Louisville. Please welcome Nate Doggett. I would like to start with some wise words that my former religion teacher, Mrs. Henson, once told me. What seems to be forever ago she told me that when someone is involved in the Eucharist, there is always adventure that follows. I didn't know it at the time, but she could not have been more correct. A few weeks after she delivered these words of wisdom to me, I found out what she meant the hard way. In my final year at St. Pius grade school, I was one of the junior sacristans, and my job was to prepare the Eucharist for weekday school masses, making sure there would be enough hosts for all the students and parishioners. One Tuesday morning, I was in Mass with the older students in the school, and I was kind of daydreaming when God decided he would give me a little wake-up call during Father's homily. As if divinely inspired, I suddenly realized that I had not put the key into the tabernacle, and I jolted upright, realizing my mistake. Immediately, I went to Mrs. Henson to ask if I could go retrieve the key and deliver it to Father in some discreet way. At this point, I was shaking as I realized the whole mass could be messed up and it would all be on me. She granted me permission and I hustled to the back to grab the key. Luckily, I was spared the embarrassment of interrupting the mass when the sacristan agreed to take it up for me. That was the day I realized Mrs. Henson was right. There's no way to avoid the adventure that comes with being involved in the Eucharist. As I continued into high school, I now realized at that point I did not fully understand the Eucharist yet. I was just going through the motions at Mass, not understanding the power and sanctity of the Eucharist. However, that moment would soon come at my first Youth 2000 retreat. For those who have not been able to at attend the amazing experience that is the Youth 2000 retreat, it's something special. On one of the nights, they hold a Eucharistic service where a priest walks around with a monstrance, and the youth are able to reach out and touch the cloak following the story of the woman who reached out and was healed by touching Jesus' cloak. The first time I was able to do this, I would consider an out-of-body experience. At the time, things for me did not seem to be working out. I was struggling in my faith, and I wanted something to change. As soon as I touched the cloak, I felt the Holy Spirit come to me. I was instantly filled with warmth and happiness, something that hadn't happened to me in a long time. That is the day I realized the power and sanctity of the Eucharist. One way to look at the Eucharist is as a redeemer and healer. Our lives are ruled by eating, at least from my perspective. <laughs> we must eat to survive. We eat when we're sad, we eat when we have nothing to do, etc. Original sin was caused by Adam and Eve eating the fruit of the forbidden tree. So it's fitting that a way to redeem ourselves is to partake in the body and blood of Christ in the Eucharist. Every time we are granted the opportunity to participate in the Eucharist, we are receiving an opportunity to better ourselves as a whole. The Eucharist is said to have a sort of healing power, not just healing our physical bodies, but also healing our soul in the process. Relating to last week, when we make a good confession, it prepares us for the Eucharist to strengthen our souls, and only through the Eucharist can we fully receive all of God's wonderful graces. I have often been questioned by some of my friends as to why God would care if we came to Mass every week. The obvious answer to this question is because God calls us to the Eucharist. The whole Mass is centered around the Eucharist, and if it were unimportant, there wouldn't be a whole commandment dedicated to ensuring that we attend Mass at least once a week. 
I use the words at least because attending Mass more than once a week provides multiple opportunities to receive the Eucharist and participate in the central mystery of our faith. However, just attending Mass and running through the motions is not enough. To fully receive God's graces, we must understand the reality. That is, that we are partaking in Jesus' body and blood. So every time you receive the Eucharist, keep in mind the power, sanctity, healing, and the adventures that may come with it. Thank you.